Hello again and welcome to my new video on On1 Photo Raw 2023 which is going to be focusing on Keyword AI. So with Keyword AI, basically this is this is kind of a mind-blowing tool that is going to use things like the GPS location that you took your photograph in. It's going to be breaking down your image through, the, um, through its AI engine and it's going to be looking at what's in the image and then it's going to be tagging relevant keywords or suggesting relevant keywords for you to tag. So how does it do it? Let's, um, let's have a look at a photograph. Let's pick this. No, we picked the first one for the sake of it. So, and sorry, I've double clicked on that there now, so that's going to open out. I'm going to have to go back again. I'm so, so sorry about that. I've had too many cups of coffee today. So, so here it is. I have no keywords added in here as of yet. And you can see this AI keyword here now under the info tag. So if I click on scan, what it's going to do is it's going to scan the image. And it is already telling me it was shot in Ireland in Kerry on Valencia. So it's a high key image, which is quite bright. Yeah, there's blue, there's clouds, there's color, daytime, high key image, Ireland, Kerry, natural environment, sky, Valencia, vivid. So it's actually giving me all the keywords there that I probably need. So I suppose Valencia, because it's Valencia Lighthouse. That is actually, it, you know, if, I, if I search for Valencia in my catalog, this image is gonna pop up and that, that that's really cool. You know, that is that is so blooming handy. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this here now and we're going to click on scan. I haven't done this before, so this is going to be really interesting to see what happens here. This could make a right mess of it. High key there now again. Not sure I'd agree with that, but image, natural environment, nature, sky, vivid, color. Right, that's kind of close enough. I would have been hoping for beach or something to be included there too as well, but I'm going to click on a person here now too as well and click on scan and see what this does. So vivid again, beauty, color, daytime, horizon, human action, human arm, image, lady, limb, natural environment, sky, vivid. That's close enough. Um, let me see. We're going to click on the cat. I'm going to see if this works. One second. Let's, so it's low key, vivid, Color, cat, animal, yeah. Wow. That's cool. Let me see, let me see. Let's put the person who's upside down. Let's see now, will it actually understand that that's a person even though he's completely upside down? Let's have a look and see. So it's a high key, it's vivid, natural environment, sky, vivid. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not surprised by that. But again, it's not a finished version. Let's click on this fully here now again. This is only the beta copy. So high key again. Yes. Clothing, color, daytime, high key, human action, human arm, image, natural environment, person, sky, textile. So yeah, that's given us a lot of it. We're going to click on this here now where the person's face is partially hidden. And can it detect that? Low key, camera and optics. Oh my God. Digital cameras, low key outerwear, single lens, reflex camera, textile. So yeah, it's picking up everything, but not the person. And again, this one is going to be interesting and click on scan again. Loki vivid, one face, adult, human, human face, human nose, Loki vivid. Yeah, this one and click on scan. So you can, wow, there's a lot in this. You can see where this is going that it is actually picking up all the detail in all those shots. So um, that's really cool. That is really, really cool now. That is, you, you can you can straight away, no, automatically too as well, of course, you can add in your own keywords there too as well. So it's not going to interfere with that and they're gonna be stored separately. But if you do a keyword search, let's say for, human nose, for some reason, don't ask me why, but if you search for human nose, then, this image is going to come up as a suggestion. And is this image going to come up as a suggestion? Human face. Human. So bottom down is human. And we're going to click this person again from the side and click on scan and check to see how that does. So high key, adult, clothing, yeah, color. Wow. Human hand, person, yeah. And what's making it interesting? And I know I'm picking really awkward photographs. I should just be picking a photograph like this one down below here in the bottom and click on scan and that's going to be a lot easier. So low key, adult, adult, clothing, human, human arm, human face, human mouth, yeah. So that's straight on. It's quite obviously a person. 
picking this one then is just messing with it to a certain extent and clicking scan because we're shooting this completely from the side. So human here, low contrast, muted. Wow, interesting, muted. Low contrast, low key, human here. That's really cool. And again, now this is still in the beta form. So um, if I click on, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna try this one, see what it says here. And click on scan, high key, low contrast, yeah. Low contrast, natural environment. So I'm noticing an awful lot of landscape images are coming up under natural environment, which is completely correct, of course. And if I click on this, this house now, for example, and click on scan, what it's gonna, what is it gonna tell me here? High key, vivid, color, daytime, image, sky, vivid. Yeah. And again, just to stress, this is still in its beta form. So this, this is gonna be interesting. Click on this one, there's a waterfall through a cave. Model behind, yeah, low contrast, low key, muted, yeah. So obviously when there's a person on the beach like that, it's gonna select it straight away. When there's a person looking straight at the camera, it's gonna select it straight away. When there's a person with a camera in front of their face and I click scan, you're obviously going to confuse it. And yeah, and that makes sense. That does make sense because this is AI technology. If you have a group shot of people standing in front or a shot like this, it's obviously going to recognize there's a person inside there. So, you know, it, it makes it makes perfect sense. Or this shot now too as well. I presume it's just gonna come up automatically and say it is a person too as well. So it's face, adult, human face, human hair. Yeah, it's all in there. All the straightforward shots and all the straightforward ones are going to work. So again, if I just select this one now, because the person is actually quite small in the subject and there's an awful lot going on, um, is that going to detect there's a person in there? It is not right now. So the beta version is having slight problems detecting that there's actually a person in that. But if you look at it, the person is actually really small in the photograph. And as I keep stressing, this is the beta version. And I'm gonna click on scan this fellow too as well. No keywords found. Oh wait, color, human action, image, natural environment, sky. Yeah, that's that's more or less bang on. Yeah. And this one above here. And if I click on scan again. Natural environment, sky, vivid image. So what I'm understanding from all this there now is if I want to look for my landscape images, I just search the keywords natural environment and it's gonna show me all my landscape images. If I want to look for people, I look for human or I look for adult or I look for human face or something. And what it's gonna do is gonna show me all the photographs with people in it or person or something. And it's gonna show me all those photographs. Um, uh, animals then. If I click on this one, I think animal was there. Yeah, animal is there, cat, color. So yeah, it just, it seems to really work. And this is going to be, one second there now, if I click on this, is that going to show me road surface? Wow. Cool. Now, is it going to add bike? Is it going to add person on bike? Or is it going to add all those other things going forward? I expect it probably will. Finalized versions are usually completely different to the beta version, but just it's expecting an awful lot for it to be able to understand everything and get it all right straight away. But so far you can see just out of this random selection of images, it's doing a really good job. And again, of course, if you have GPS in your camera and you have GPS location on, if it's capturing that, it is going to show you things like this one above here, where it's actually telling me that it's actually in Valencia in, in Kerry. So that's really cool. So I can just search Valencia and that photograph is gonna come up with a number of other, sorry, with a number of other photographs I've taken in Valencia. And that's really handy and it's really cool. So keyword AI, it's something I can see as being incredibly handy going forward. And yes, this could be a huge time saver. If you're like me and your, if your catalog is a small bit chaotic, then um, having searchable keywords like this are going to be really, really cool. I add keywords in, but they're usually for clients. 
I don't add in keywords for my own landscape shots and things like that. So um, this is something that I, I think I'm going to find incredibly, incredibly useful going forward. Like say if I'm shooting for a specific company, I'll put their name in as the keyword. So just when I search for that company and afterwards, all those images will pop up long. So it just, it makes looking for a specific shot incredibly easy. I genuinely didn't think this was going to be as handy as it is because one of my fears being is that any keywords you'd actually manually add yourself I was afraid it was actually going to overwrite those but it's obviously not it's going to store them as AI keywords not as keywords you've actually added in manually yourself which is going to be incredibly handy so if you already have a fairly well organized catalog and um, th this is going to be this is going to be a slight addition to you if you don't have an already organized catalog, this is going to be huge. This is going to be really handy. Like, you know, you're looking for photographs of people. You can just type in people, human, adult, face, or something along those lines. And it's going to show you all your photographs out of your catalog. That's huge. That is a massive time saver. Are you looking for landscape images, natural environment? Are you looking for macro or flower or cat or dog or elephant or, you know, cow? God, any pig? God, any knows what else it's going to do. Then it's going to show up automatically. So, yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So, on one photo raw 2023 keyword AI is a very handy little tool. Um, thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and if there's anything else you'd want to see me do a review on or touch base on about Photo Raw 2023, please do ask me in the comments down below and I'll do my best to put up a photograph or put up a video on it fairly soon. So um, thanks again for watching and see you out there.